So we're going to cover the uh, installation of ETO on a Windows 7 64-bit operating system. Uh, as always, we need to start off with a base or virgin install of CFS3, which I have here. Uh, you'll notice my shortcut is named differently. It's because I fly online and I had to do the Windows 7 install fix patch for that. Um, that's why it says this. It doesn't affect the ETO install by any means, so we'll just go ahead and start. And I have 1.0 here and we'll double click on that and click run and this will just take a second to unzip Okay, so here we are at the first screen. Uh, we'll click next to this and again agree to the terms and conditions. And now this is the first path that we have to change here. By default it wants to throw it into just the regular 64-bit program files. We need to redirect that to x86. So we'll just click on that browse button, scroll down, we'll minimize program files and expand program files x86 and you'll see we have a Microsoft Games here. Just click and highlight that, click OK, and now you see that our path has been updated. And we'll click Next and Start. Okay, so here we are at the beginning of the installation. Once again, we have our program files path. We need to change that again. So we'll scroll down, minimize programs, expand x86, highlight Microsoft Games, and click OK. Next, start. Uh, this is the make directory. Uh, we'll click yes to that. And press any key prompt, we'll hit a key. Okay, so we have a yes, no, or all. We'll uh, hit A for all. Okay, so that part of the process is done. We'll click exit. And now this is uh, asking us if we want to continue. We say yes and we'll click next. Now this one's a little bit different. We still have to change the path here but when we click on the browse button you'll see we have a different screen here. Uh, that's no big deal. We'll just uh, browse to the proper folder. So we'll expand C drive and then we'll go to program files x86 and this time instead of just highlighting Microsoft Games we need to expand it and you'll see there's an ETO expansion folder. You need to highlight that and then click OK so now you see it's going to the x86 Microsoft Games CFS3 ETO expansion folder and that's where we want to be so we'll click next and start and this part of the process will take a minute so uh, I'll touch base when it's done okay so that part of the installation is complete we'll uh, click exit and we have to go into the multi installer here and rename this so we'll back it out and we'll type in CFS3 space ETO all uppercase and then expansion Oops. so it's CFS3 space ETO space expansion and we'll click accept and exit and we can close back to desktop Okay, so we've completed the install. Uh, we have our game shortcuts here on the desktop. Uh, we can't start the game just yet, so don't don't fire up the game from the ETO start icon yet. Uh, it'll kind of mess things up. We have to make an adjustment. So there is a little roadblock that we're going to come up against that we have to fix. It's to do with security rights on the main game folder. Um, so I'm going to show you what that's all about. So we'll open up C, go into the x86, Microsoft Games, ETO expansion. Now if I scroll down we need to make an adjustment here in the master startup. 
and we need to uncheck read only. However, at this point, now if I go to do that, I get this error saying I need administrator, administrator per, uh, permissions to do that. And I want to show you the reason why that is. Uh, if we right, right mouse click on this, go to properties, go to security, you'll see that we have an administrator account, which I'm a member of, but we also have the users, Win7 user. And if you see here, it has restricted access. And this restricted access is preventing us from being able to uncheck that uh, read-only status or to make any modifications to any batch files in there. So I found the best way to fix this is just click on edit and then we make sure we highlight users, Win7 users here. Put a check mark there and see how it filled everything out. So, so now that's going to give us full access. We'll click apply. We'll let that do its thing. Click OK. Click OK. So now what you're going to see, we'll just refresh that. Go to security and we go to Win7 users and now they have full permissions to that folder. Without doing this you're not able to make the adjustments to the batch files. Um, now that I've done that we can go ahead and make those adjustments. Alright so we're ready to make the changes now. Uh, we'll just browse into the uh, main game folder. We'll right mouse click on the uh, start icon, go to properties, open file location and you'll see that the master startup bat is uh, highlighted. So we'll right mouse click on that, go to properties, and I'm going to uncheck the read only. And now because we made that adjustment, it's allowing us to do that. So now we can right mouse click on it again and go to edit. And you'll see the statement here, C program files. We need to change that to the x86 directory. And actually we need to do it a bunch of times uh, in another in the global layer as well. So I'm just going to get a, a path here just quickly. So open up C drive. We'll click on Program Files x86, and now if you click on the little folder icon here, it gives us the path. So we can just copy this, close this out now, and we'll highlight that. So you go from all the way to the end there, but do not get rid of the little bracket. And we'll hit Control V, and now we've pasted in the x86, so we can click Save and Exit. And we want to go back and put that read-only on there. So that's one part. We just have one more little s spot to go to here. And that's in the global layer. And we have the e ETO GL swapper. Do a properties on that. We have to uncheck read-only. And we'll go up and go to edit. And see here, right at the beginning, there's uh, statements here that we need to change. So we'll get rid of the program files, hit control V as in Victor, make sure you get everything. And just one more to go. And the last thing we need to do is scroll right down to the bottom. There's just one last one here. And we'll put that in. So now everything's been changed. So we can go File, Save. We'll close this. And we'll just reset that read only check mark. And we'll close everything out and go back to desktop. Alright, so on, now we're ready to run the game for the first time. We can run it from the ETO start icon now because we made all the changes. Uh, and I'll do that now. This is a brand new install of ETO, so we want to run it from era 1 first. It's very important that we do that. So I'll hit 1, enter, enter.
All right, so it looks like error one ran okay. So I'm just gonna go back in here and we'll run error two. All right, it looks good. Uh, we have our error one splash screens. We have our error two splash screens. I'm gonna just complete firing up the rest of the errors on this. I'm sure they'll be fine. Usually if one and two work, the rest of them will be okay. Um, so that pretty much covers uh, how to install ETO 1.0 onto a Windows 7 64-bit operating system. Uh, I hope this works out for you and have fun.